Hey guys, so today I'm doing my July beauty favorites and I apologize for it being a little late, but I was competing and then I was vacationing and I'm finally back and able to film a video. So I'm gonna separate it into a few different sections and I'm gonna show you like my everyday beauty favorites, my competition beauty favorites, and then skincare and some other stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you everything I've been loving the month of July. Let's get into it. So the first thing that I've been obsessed with is the Sephora Air Flash Foundation. Now it's nothing new, but I have recently discovered it. And I was scared because it you literally spray it. And I was like, I'm not spraying something on my face. That's like spray paint going on my face. Like, that's crazy. But the lady at Sephora was like, no, you don't have to spray directly onto your face. You can use a brush. So I got the Sephora like 55 brush, which I, Pro 55, which I've actually had for a while. And I spray it onto the brush. And then I just go along in circular motions. And then to finish it off, I take my beauty blender and just bounce it along my face. And it's a flawless everyday foundation that feels so lightweight, like I don't even know it's there. I'm wearing it today and I don't even feel it. Then I, I was late to jump on this bandwagon. I don't know why, because this is a very, very good drugstore option. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I had it in my last tutorial and I love it. It's in 011 Creamy Neutral and it's just setting powder that looks lightweight and I didn't know that setting powders like did stuff like this. Like I've tried a lot of setting powders and they all looked heavy and cakey, but this is the only one that actually just looks air airbrushed and flawless. Then I've been really, really loving Maybelline New York. Why did I say New York? Gosh, sorry, it's been a long day. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in which is this 15 fair and it just has a regular doe foot applicator and I love it. It conceals my dark circles. It's a good drugstore alternative and I like it a lot. But continuing on with every day is an hourglass ambient lighting powder powder and it's not this palette. It's the middle powder, which is incandescent light and it's a beautiful pearly creamy white type of shade, I guess. And I love this for every day. It's the highlight that I have on my cheeks right now. And it is such a no-brainer highlight. Like, I literally just take a brush and brush it on. Like, it doesn't take any thought or any effort. And it just makes you look glowing and healthy. And I really like it. It's, it's pretty nice. Then I've been loving this Buxom Lash Mascara. And I know that it did not get very good reviews, but I wanted to give it a shot because... It's pricey, but it's not like a $35 mascara. I believe it's like 19 or something. And it has a really big fluffy brush, which I love. And it has nice big bristles, but it doesn't like hurt my eyelashes. It just combs through them really nicely and gives you a lot of volume. And I recommend it a lot. Then my final everyday favorite has been this MAC lipstick in the shade Syrup, which I pretty much throw on every time I want to wear lipstick and I don't want to have to think about it. It's a stunning mauve pinky nude shade and I love it. Of course, I'm not wearing it right now, but I promise I really do love this. Okay, then I'm going to move on to competition favorites. So I have two eyeshadows. I have this NARS Duo Intensity eyeshadow and this is in the shade Callisto. It's really, really beautiful. I guess it has a hint of silver, but it's like purpley iridescent shade and oh, it looks so pretty on the lids and they have many shades and oh, it's really beautiful, especially if you apply it wet. The next shadow I've been loving is from Makeup Geek, a very affordable brand. This is Bitten. So it's a really pretty like reddish brown berry shade and I love this in my crease layered with some browns and then with Callisto on my lid. It is mwah, is perfection. I'm telling you. Like, Make a Beak Shadows, there's nothing better than them. Like, they are inexpensive, the formula is perfect, the pigmentation is out of this world. Like, the next competition favorite, it's Marc Jacobs Lip Cream in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And I'm wearing this on my lips, and it's a, what'd you say, like, berry pinky color. And you could totally wear this every day, but it will not budge. Like, I don't know why, but I just haven't been able to find a lipstick that doesn't 
like feather or move around my lips or come off within like five minutes. This is the only one that actually sticks onto my lips and it's semi matte, but it doesn't go in the creases of my lips or anything. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today. Moving on, um, two skincare favorites for July. First one is some makeup remover wipes. Now I have been very desperate recently because I just, I haven't really gone to the store. And so I've been, like I've gone to Sephora, but not like Target or Safeway or any of the regular people stores that have makeup remover wipes. And my friend got these and she was like, mom, I can't use these because they hurt my face. And I was like, ooh, I'll take them because I'm out of makeup remover wipes. And they are from Safeway and I was not expecting much, but I actually really like them. So they're like the Safeway Care Sensitive Cleansing Towelettes. And I'm gonna get another one because this is out. Like I have one in there, but it's, it's used up completely. But it removes all my makeup. It does not hurt my eyes. Like the Neutrogena ones hurt my eyes. I don't know why. All of them hurt my eyes, but this one actually takes off my makeup. It does not take off waterproof mascara, but it takes off my makeup. I'm so impressed. I'm pretty positive they're like $3, so. Oh, that hit my leg that didn't work very well, but yeah, they're really good. And I'm going to go get me some more. Okay, this next thing is this Belief Aqua Bomb Moisturizer. <sighs> this is amazing. It, I don't know what, oh. Like, once again, it's an expensive product, but it is so, so worth it. I purchased it at Sephora, and you get 1.68 fluid ounces, which is a lot. I'm, in my opinion, it's very heavy. And it is such a good moisturizer. It is so lightweight, and it's creamy, and it feels like an aqua bomb on your face. And I tried accidentally the moisture bomb, and I did not like it. It's for, that one's for normal to dry skin. So if you have like no oil in your skin and your skin is extremely dry, I would recommend the Moisture Bomb. But I returned it and got the Aqua Bomb because that one, the Aqua Bomb is for normal to combination. So it's less oily and it's just light, it's more lightweight on your skin. So my final favorite is a scent. And this is from Bath and Body Works. You know, it's like 16 bucks for, what is this? How many ounces? This is big. This is eight fluid ounces and it's bourbon and strawberry vanilla it smells like not your average strawberry vanilla it has like a hint of spice to it and every time I wear this someone's like oh my god you put on perfume it smells so good and I tell them what it is and I just I love it I want to bathe in it and I know it's like a cheap perfume but honestly I don't really want to wear like expensive perfumes because I'm gonna fall in love with them and then I'm gonna to have to keep buying really expensive perfumes and I don't wanna do that. So yeah, that was all my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see like different favorites in it, if you wanna see like music favorites, clothing favorites, comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment requests and questions down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.